The first challenge is that we have, uh, it's an unusual kind of shoot because it's a look uh, for L'Oreal. We just decided to do it in this house, not in a studio studio setup, but just to break it down a little, a little bit. And I wanted to use available light with a bit of tungsten added rather than flash, which could look quite hard. A lot of hair shots are done like that. And I wanted just to soften it, which is the way I work anyway. I've always paid homage to feminine beauty. I hate bling. I just know instinctively when I look at a girl and what she's up to, how to soften that look to make it look acceptable in, in, in what the salon or the client's trying to say, either with a bit of clothing or with a makeup. Can you do something else now? Just lean forward into that. I'm looking that way more. Swing around to me. Head over. When I started doing fashion photography here, it was my other half, Betty, who's probably the best stylist I've ever worked with, Betty Wall, who's legendary in her own right. Um, she discovered, completely by accident, through her second-hand clothes business, young up-and-coming designers that no one had ever heard of. And it's amazing to think they were John Rocher, Philip Tracy, um, Paul Costello, Michael Martel, all these people. The models in those days used to bring their own kit bags full of wigs and accessories and all that stuff, and it was just terrible. And it really took off from there, and when Cara Magazine came out, my phone didn't stop ringing for doing fashion shoots. If I want to photograph anything, it, it has to be a beauty shot, and it's the way the light feathers around it. And I think it's fashion that's given me that little bit of um, gentleness about, because it's the, whatever I photograph, I use the discipline of fashion. Like, I can't, if I do a landscape, I have to choreograph it. I can't just go and take a snapshot. I have to put people in it or wait for the light or play with it. I think fashion should be treated with the greatest of respect and not in a hurry. And I can remember when we used to do editorials, it was like six shots maximum in a day. And now people want you to do 24. So this is, uh, for me now, is my match made in heaven. As I said earlier to someone, I've had love affairs with Nikons, Canons, Pentax cameras, the Fujis, the whole lot. But this is the new one. I mean, this camera does everything I ever want out of a camera and better. What I'm trying to do is put the discipline of yesteryear back into what I do now. And it's the last three shoots I've done, it's paid off, you know, because um, I've taken it very simply and steadily. Like today, I mean, if I started getting wound up, it would be nervous tension, everyone would be having a bad time. We're in a lovely house, it's a lovely day, and uh, I've met, so far I've met some very nice people, so uh, why shouldn't it be a nice day? Mm -hmm.